How much should I be risking on every trade? Stay tuned traders, we're gonna talk about that next. G'day traders, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Today we're gonna to be talking about how much should you be risking on every trade? Now, I, I'm not an expert on this, on the money management. There's a lot of different ideas and approaches to how to manage capital but I'm gonna talk about what I've learned and what um, my main focus is right now and some of my experience in the past. You know, I love what Peter Brandt says in that um, a lot of novice or retail amateur traders, what they tend to um, assume is that, that every trade is gonna be a winner and therefore they over leverage, over expose, over trade, uh, take too large positions on and they end up ultimately blowing up their trading accounts. Um, whereas professional traders assume that every trade is going to be a loser and therefore predefine their risk on every trade and, and manage the downside or try to manage the downside as best they can and preserve their trading capital. They have a reasonable expectation uh, that they're going to have some winners so they try to manage the downside and they try to ride those winners with an asymmetrical risk reward when they do get into these bigger trends. So Peter Brandt talks about uh, you know risking uh, 1% on a trade and assuming that, you know, like from my own experience, I can say that I'm probably 30 to 35% uh, profitable trades. So assuming that, you know, 65 to 70% of my trades are losers, I could experience maybe seven losing trades in a row. So therefore, the question um, you have to ask yourself is that can you, uh, uh, with retail traders, we have small trading accounts often. And so we try to turn a small trading account into a large amount of money or try to produce a large amount of money with a small trading account. So therefore, we take on too much risk with our trades. And in doing so, ultimately, you can blow up your account. Now, if you experienced seven losing trades in a row and you, you took a drawdown of 7%, how much damage, uh, you know, that's, that's a, a manageable loss amount. But if you're taking large exposure on each individual trades, and you are you going to make it to that seven that seventh tr losing trade? Or are you going to blow your account up? So I like the idea of um, having a maximum exposure of one percent risk on on your trades, and I like what Peter Brandt talks about as well. As the older that he has gotten, and the larger the amount of money that he's managing, he's reduced his exposure down even further. So you know he he thinks that 10% for himself is, is about as large a drawdown as he'd like to experience. If he went to 15%, he, he considers that to be emotionally challenging. And I would agree that um, the longer that I've traded now and, and basically done a, a flip of my approach to trading, if, that you're, if you're going through that significant of a loss and you've been monitoring your trade expectancy in blocks of 10, uh, and you've got a positive expectancy, uh, a 10 to 15% drawdown is probably an indication that your system is either not working in the current market conditions or there's a problem perhaps in your, your executing that trading plan uh, flawlessly into the market that you're trading. So I think uh, if you're trading and you're risking 1% on trades and you're, and you're losing, you may want to consider reducing that. Either the market again isn't favorable to the type of trading system that you're using or again you're not able to execute that properly but if you're into a strong market and you're trend trading and you're consistently profitable on your trades you may also consider increasing the amount of exposure or pyramiding into secondary trade signals as well these are decisions that you have to make and and that may require some testing and monitoring of your ability to execute that properly um, so, you know, doing blocks of 10, monitoring your trade expectancy, um, looking to see if you can make more from your winners, lose less on your losers, uh, and, and ultimately, again, just become more consistent. But the number one goal is to manage your downside. Um, you know, again, amateurs focus on the assumption that they're going to win on every trade. Professionals approach the markets that they're going to lose on every trade. And that's a real mindset shift. That's a real difference between uh, a consistent, profitable trader and you know a novice trader who keeps going through the hoops and starting over again. So, if you haven't done so, go to my homepage, get my seven-step daily routine for high-performance traders. 
Work on your mindset daily. Be reading, be listening, be watching other great traders, the real traders like Peter Brandt, Brent Penfold. Uh, there's a list of them on my blog site. Just keep focused on constant progress, but bulletproof yourself for, for success. Build your confidence and your discipline through your daily routine. Uh, accelerate your learning. Manage your downside. Set lofty goals for yourself and focus on constant progress. Uh, this is a winnable game, but it's going to require that you um, perform like an elite performer. And um, that's going to boil down to your daily routine and your daily approach to the markets. So. Um, Keep getting better, traders. Trade smart, trade better, trade bigger, and live the dream. Have a great trading week. Hi, traders. It's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburketrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis, and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.